So here's another common emitter configuration, but this time it's a design example in which we want to design a digital inverter such that when VS is zero input, we have an output voltage in the form of VCE equal to 5 volts. And then when VS is equal to 5 volts, then our output voltage is 0 volts. And that's what we mean by a digital inverter. We're also given the following parameters. Our current gain beta is equal to 100. V gamma is equal to VBE, which is equal to 0 0.7 volts. So the voltage across this junction between the base and the emitter. And then we have the collector resistor of 1 kilo ohm. So that's 1 kilo ohm. And then we have VCC of 5 volts. So in this problem, we must select an RB shown here our, in our, the resistor connected to the base of the transistor so that the circuit meets these input and output conditions. So, to meet the first condition, that is Vs equals 0 such that Vc equals 5 volts, the transistor must be in cutoff mode. Since the required output is Vce equal 5 volts, which is equal to the voltage open circuit voltage, which is equal to Vcc. So for Vs equal to 0, the transistor will be in cutoff mode regardless of the value of the resistor RB since the input is less than the threshold voltage V gamma of 0 0.7 volts. Now to meet the second condition the transistor must be in the saturated mode since the required output VCE is 0 volts. So here we know that this must be in cutoff mode regardless of the value of the resistor RB in the second condition means that it must be in saturation mode and we must pick a RB such that it is in saturation modes so in this case IC is like the short circuit collector which will establish our lower bound 5 divided by 1 kilo ohm due to RC because this value is here is 5 is VCC and RC is 1 kilo ohm that gives us a short circuit current of 5 milliamps we also know that in the saturation mode VBE is equal to V gamma which is equal to 0 0.7 volts however what we don't know is the value of RB so that this transistor will be in saturation mode. Now to be in saturation the collector current predicted by the active node IV characteristics namely that IC is equal to beta IB must exceed the available short circuit current. Available meaning that you only can supply so much current as a result of selecting the value resistors RC and VCC. Now, it can't be that the transistor is in saturation mode. What it does mean is that beta IB must be greater than ISC, which we found to equal 5 milliamps. Therefore, we calculate IB, which we know it's VS minus VBE divided by RB, and that will give us the current. IB. So therefore, beta IB is equal to beta, the voltage across RB, which is VS minus VBE, divided by RB. And when we substitute these values, 100, 5 minus 0.7 divided by RB. must be greater than 5 milliamps. 
Now when we solve for RB, RB will equal to, we'll make it an inequality, using that this relationship here, is less than 100, 5 minus 0.7 is 4.3, divided by ISC, which is 5 milliamps, so it's voltage over the current, so that makes sense, and that's equal to 86 kilo ohm. So any reasonable value less than 86 kilo ohm, let's say 56 kilo ohms, and that's a standard value, will make this work such that when we select that resistor value, let's say 56K, this transistor will operate in the saturation mode, and when it's the saturation mode, this implies that when Vs is equal to 5 volts, the output voltage, Vce, is equal to 0 volts. So that completes the design for this common emitter configuration such that it acts like a digital inverter.